package in the mail. So maybe we'll come today. Oh, I hope it comes today. What's in it, Mia? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a horse. Horses are kind of big to be delivered by mail, Mia. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a pony. <gasps> I think it's the mail truck. Uh, it's not the mail truck? No. <sighs> Is that the mail truck? Nope. It's the recycling truck. Oh, I don't think the mail truck is ever going to get here. I know how you feel. One time I ordered a book about the rainforest, it felt like it took forever to get it. Yeah, I wish time would hurry up. We should go on an adventure. Maybe your package will be here when we get back. An adventure? Yeah, a mail carrier adventure in fairy tale land. I bet they deliver a lot of great stuff there. Yes! Let's do it, Kobe. But first, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Can't go to fairy tale land without my tiara. <laughs> cool. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be what we have to deliver. <gasps> wow. Let's see. This delivery is for Humpty Dumpty to help him get down from walls. Oh, and these bowls are for the three bears for their porridge. <sighs> wow. Someone must really be looking forward to getting that. It's for Fairy Godmother, Kobe. <gasps> It even has a wand. Wow! Here's a map for our deliveries, Mia. We'll start here at the fairy godmother's cottage. Um, do we have to deliver there first? It's the closest place. And I bet the fairy godmother really wants her new outfit. Yeah, but don't you think Humpty really wants his ladder? I mean, he's stuck on a wall. He could have a great fall. You might be right, Mia. Okay, let's deliver there first. Great. I'll ride back here and make sure nothing gets broken. Okay. Oh, I wish we never had to deliver you. I wish I could just look at you forever. <sighs> We're here! Oh. Mm. I'll be right back. Hi! Princess Mia! How lovely to see you! Aw, thanks! We're delivering your new ladder. But how did you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I was picking apples with my friend the giant. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! Hello! That's the giant up there. <clears throat> he accidentally grabbed my ladder a little too tightly. Oopsie! But can't he just pick you up and lift you down? Scientific fact, eggs crack when they're squeezed too tightly. <sighs> this will help you get down. <sighs> Goodbye. Bye. See you soon, I hope. 
Next stop, Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Just around the corner. No, not yet. I just want to keep you here with me a little bit longer. Wait! Let's deliver to the Three Bears next instead. But the cottage is closer, Mia. And the Fairy Godmother probably wishes we would hurry. Just like you wished the mail truck would hurry with your package. Yeah, but it's almost lunchtime. And the bears are getting new bowls for their porridge. And Papa Bear gets very grumpy when he has to wait for his lunch. And no one likes a grumpy bear. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's deliver to the bear family next. Yay! Wonderful! They're special temperature-controlled bowls. Your porridge will never be too hot or too cold again. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you order four bowls? There are only three of you. Hello? Bears? Yeah, it's me, Goldilocks. Got any porridge? That's why. Ho! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mia, now it's on to the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. It's getting kind of late, Kobe. Maybe we should deliver the Fairy Godmother's outfit tomorrow. I know you love this Fairy Godmother's outfit, but she is going to love it too. Think of how you feel, waiting for your package from your aunt, and how excited you're gonna be when it finally arrives. It will be amazing. I bet that's how Fairy Godmother feels too. Oh. I never thought of it like that. She's probably feeling the same as me right now. When you're deciding what to do, try to think if that was you, would it feel good or feel bad? Make you happy or feel sad? That's empathy. Remember how it feels to She feels too. I bet for her, it's hard to wait. Just like me, and that's not great. We should hurry to her place. Put a smile upon her face. That's empathy. Remember how it feels to you. Empathy. And that might be how she feels too. That makes my heart sparkle. I thought it would never get here. It would have been here sooner, but I was having a hard time letting it go. That's okay. I know how you must have felt. Of course, because you have empathy. Well, I also have a wand. Shall I test it out? Oh, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please! <laughs> Digga, digga, do! Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Yeah! Hi, guys! We're back! Hello! Mia! Mail carrier Ethan was just here! He delivered your package! Hooray! Cool! Uh, thank you! Bye-bye! Mia, hurry and open it! Let's see! Yeah! Oh, what is it? <gasps> Homemade chocolate chip cookies! Ooh! Zigga digga doo! And there's enough to share. Cool! <laughs> Yummy! But first, I always feel good when someone says thank you. So, I'm going to make my aunt a thank you card. Hey, let's all make cards! while we're eating the cookies! Yeah! yeah. Cool! 
great idea, Eddie. Woohoo! <laughs> Eddie throws the ball. And Eddie hits it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, he's running. He's running. And he slides! Huh? Whoa! Careful, Eddie. I'm dancing here. Oops. Sorry. Speak. Roll over. Ugh. Tessa, can you stay over there, please? Sorry, but I need space for my dancing. My baseball game needs lots of space, too. And my animals need lots and lots of space. I'm going to have a zillion animals in my very own castle when I grow up. I'm going to play any way I want to in my grown-up space. I'm going to sing and dance in my space anytime, all the time. Hey, why wait? We can go on an adventure and have our own grown-up spaces right now. An, an adventure. adventure! Great, come on, let's go! Yeah! Hooray! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Hey, Castle, but it is pretty cool. Hello, I'm Perry Peacock. I help people find the perfect space to live in, and this is the friendliest space in town. Are animals allowed? Is there lots of room to play? Are the ceilings high? I jump really high when I dance. Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, we have only one rule here be friendly to each other. Ooh! When, when can, can we, we move, move in? in? Right now! Yes! Cool! Let's go! Enjoy! And remember, be friendly! Cool! I can't wait to play wall-to-wall, any ball all over this place! Even a hundred. <laughs> ah, Steady Eddie is ready to play. <laughs> okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three.
someone say something? Oh! Oh, he's shaking the whole building. from this building today. Uh, are you being friendly? They started it, not me. Well, I have to practice. Hey, guys! I'm not the problem. Um, excuse me. We're not listening. Mia's right. We haven't been listening to each other at all. No, I guess not. So let's talk. One at a time, okay? Eddie? <sighs> okay, so... I want to play games in my place. And I want to sing and dance in my place. And I want lots of animals in my place. But your animals are messing up my games. And I can't sing because of your loud games. And your singing keeps bothering the animals. Hmm. Maybe having our own space doesn't mean we can do anything we want any time we want. Maybe we have to listen to each other, too. And be friendly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... I guess I could only sing and dance in the morning. I could keep less animals inside. Maybe just a cat. And a dog. And a bird. Oh, and of course my goldfish. I'll take the others to the jungle where they'll have lots more room to play. I could play my outdoor sports outside and only play indoor sports inside. Yes! Excellent! Now you're following our one and only rule, being friendly to each other. Thank you. Goodbye! <coughs> when it's time to play, talk to yourself and say, If I do this, will my neighbors feel okay? Everyone wants to have fun, but when it's all said and done, remember you are not the only one. When you think of what is best, not just for you, but for the rest, everybody's better off if you put this to the test. Don't only think of yourself, the things you do affect others too. You don't have to put fun on the shelf, just respect the people around you. Don't only think of yourself. The things you do affect others too. You don't have to put fun on the shelf. Just respect the people around you. Yeah! Woohoo! Great job! <laughs> Yay! That was fun. Now I see that we all need our own space sometimes. And sometimes we can share. Let's do that sharing thing now. Great! How about a game of kickball? <laughs> Over here! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Time out! Sophie and Kobe are playing here. Right. Our noise might bother them. And the ball might hit their sandcastle. <laughs> oh, when Lucky's trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on the other side of the yard. 
It's the friendly thing to do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Simon says, hands on hips. <laughs> Simon didn't say do the hula, Eddie. Watch me, Eddie. I can do the hula and hop. Simon didn't say to hula or hop, Mia. Hands on hips. And hula, hula, hop. Hop. <laughs> Simon <laughs> says stop. Hula, hop. Guys, are you even listening? <laughs> <sighs> Simon says never mind. I see her. I see bus driver Emily. Hello. Last week, I went on a bus that took us on a tour all around the zoo. And another lady on the bus told us all about the animals. She was called a tour guide. Oh, I'd love to drive a bus like that. Tessa style. And I'd love to be a tour guide. Well, come on then. Let's have a tour bus adventure. Tessa and I are going on a super surprise bus tour. Wanna come? Sure, yeah. I love surprises. Let's go. Hula and hop. Hula and hop. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey. our first stop on the Super Surprise Bus Tour. The Marketplace and Bakery. A place where people meet and... So what's the surprise, Sophie? I can't say. It's a surprise. Please be respectful and listen carefully. Each of the places that we go, you'll learn something you need to know. So listen to the things I mention and don't forget to pay... <gasps> Cupcakes! Attention. <laughs> mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks. Mm. Thanks. <gasps> this is the first clue to the super surprise. So, so listen up. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I'm very glad to see you is how you must begin. If that is how you greet the queen, then she will let you in. Are we going to meet a queen? Maybe. Who's good at it, huh? Mm. Did mm. you guys hear the clue? Mm-hmm. You said the queen will do something when we greet someone. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Second stop on our tour, the bar. They grow lots of food here, and food is part of the big surprise. Follow me. Welcome to Cirque du Poulet. <gasps> the chicken circus. <laughs> We'll watch them in a sec. Cool. But first, here is clue number two. The big surprise is really neat. <laughs> but to get in, you'll need a treat. What kind of treat? Something that is red and sweet. An, An apple. apple. It tastes so good, but do not eat. So we need to find some apples but we can't eat them. Look, there's some over there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank <you>. Thanks. <laughs> mm, delicious. <laughs> um, didn't the clue say do not eat? Yes, yes it did. Welcome to the Animal Rescue Center. 
veterinarians here help take care of all sorts of animals. <laughs> oh my, that elephant has a cold. The giraffe has a sore throat. <laughs> and the frog has the hiccups. <laughs> Sorry you have the hiccups, little frog, but they'll go away soon. <laughs> hey, leapfrog! Wanna play leapfrog with us until your hiccups go away? Awesome! <laughs> Ribbit! Okay, everyone, listen up. Time for clue number three. Follow me. Huh? <laughs> Watch and learn this little dance and practice if you have a chance. You'll need to know the dance they do. Soon you may be dancing too. We have to dance? Don't worry, I'll help you. Circle now, round and round, keeping one foot off the ground. Hold your arms and do see -si do then back around and round you go. Slide and kick in one long line and do the whole thing one more time. <laughs> ribbit! <laughs> ribbit! <laughs> ribbit! Hooray! Bouncy Beach! <laughs> this must be the super surprise! Da 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 da! Ha does anyone know how to greet the queen? Um, hi there, queen. Oh, so close. Oh, I remember. That was clue number one. I'm very glad to see you is how you must begin. If that is how you greet the queen, then she will let you in. I'm very glad to see you. Ha <laughs> ha! How nice that you listened so well. <laughs> Have fun on Bouncy Beach. Yeah! <laughs> oh, right. Now, the queen is feeling hungry. Does anyone have a treat? Oh, that was clue number two. The big surprise is really neat. But to get in, you'll need a treat. Something that is red and sweet. The queen thanks you for respectfully listening to the clue. Go have fun on Bouncy Beach! Woohoo! Ah! Sorry, we ate our apples. Is there something else we can do for the queen? Oh, well, uh, there is a little dance that she truly enjoys. Do you know it? We know lots of dances. Is it this one? <laughs> no, that's not it. Don't you two remember clue number three, the dancing sheep? Watch and learn this little dance and practice if you have a chance. You'll need to know the dance they do. Soon you may be dancing too. Um, I guess we weren't paying attention. So I guess we can't go to Bouncy Beach. Come on, you guys. Bouncy Beach is really fun. I'm afraid your friends cannot join you today. They forgot to pay attention and listen to the clues. Oh, well, if our friends can't go, we won't go either. It's no fun unless we're all there. Oh, no. I feel awful. I'm really, really sorry I didn't listen. Is there anything we can do? Um, one second. Okay. No, uh, um. Her Majesty does not see why. You cannot have another try. I'm very glad to meet you. Is how you greet a queen, it's true. That's the clue that you were missing. And you just had to give a little listen. So listen up is what I'll do. That sounds great, and I will too. You'll never know what you might be missing if you don't stop. What a great tour, Sophie! Bouncy Beach is the best! Yeah, that was fun! Sorry we didn't listen before. Listening is the nice thing to do. We'd like to play Simon Says again. And this time, we'll really listen. 
We promise. We'll play too. Yeah. Okay. Simon says, wave your arms. Simon says, clap your hands. Touch your nose. Haha, <laughs> Simon didn't say that. <laughs> Good one, Kobe. <laughs> teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Jumping Jack shoots. He scores! This book has some awesome animals in it, Eddie. Look at this one they discovered in the jungle. He looks part zebra and part giraffe. He's called an okapi. He should be called a... Uh, a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to discover a new animal, like this one. An olinguito. Whoa! Sorry, I was aiming for the bucket. It's okay. Try again, Jack. Jumpin' Jack will now attempt to make the winning basket. He takes careful aim and... <laughs> So close! Ugh. Oh well. You can look at my book with us instead, Jack. Yeah! There's pictures of all these cool animals they discovered in the jungle. I wish I could discover how to get my ball down. Hmm. <gasps> we'll help you. We can use this ball to knock that one down. Kobe rolls the ball. Maybe even make a big discovery, like a new jungle animal, like in my book. Sure, even that. Yeah, let's go to the jungle and see what we can find. Okay, let's do it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Jungle with super smart animal expert Kobe and super brave jungle explorer Eddie. We're here to see what kind of new animals we can discover. What are you doing, Jack? I'm going to record all the stuff we do today. Then we can watch it later. Great, cool. Hey, look! Awesome! I'll drive! Let's go! <laughs> the eating habits of these two amazing creatures are especially interesting to watch. Bologna and mm. jelly, my favorite. Mm. Come and have a sandwich with us, Jack. Okay. Mm. Bologna and jelly. Mm, so tasty. <laughs> Guys, look! Mm. Wow! Huh? It's kind of like a hippopotamus and kind of like a leopard. It's, um, uh, uh, a lepopotamus. Huh? I've never heard of that. That's because we just discovered it. Wow! We did it, Kobe. Together we discovered a new jungle animal. Hey. Ah! Ah! So what do we do now? Well, scientists are supposed to learn everything they can about a new creature. We'll help you do that. But what if he goes deep into the jungle? No problem. I'm a great explorer. There's no place I can't go. And I'll help you get the first pictures of a genuine lepopotamus. Hey, 
Where'd he go? Animal expert Kobe has found some lepopotamus tracks. These prints look kind of leopardy. And hippos like to nibble on bushes. I think I hear it. Over there. so I could get his whole body. Yeah. Any ideas how to do that, animal expert, Kobe? Hmm. Uh, hippos love melons. He might come out for that. Perfect. There's a melon tree right over there. Brave explorer Eddie will swing across the pond to get a melon. <laughs> Brilliant. Now animal expert Kobe and I will follow. Yes! Come on! Um, I don't know if I can. Sure you can, Kobe. We're here to help you. Well, okay, I'll try. Uh, uh, oh. Gotcha! I did it! Yes! Animal expert Kobe has bravely made it to the other side of the pond. Now together, Kobe and Eddie will use melons to try to get the lepopotamus out of the water. Here, lepopotamus, come and get it. Huh? Oh no, our great discovery has disappeared again. Tracks tell us he came this way. Lepopotamus! <gasps> Here he is! Come and record this, Jack! Wow! No, Jack! He's up here! Truly amazing! We found not one, but two Lepopotamuses! Huh? It's just a leopard! And that's a plain old hippo! So I guess there is no such thing as a lepopotamus after all. We just found two animals who like to play together. But we saw it, and Jack recorded it. Yeah, let's look back and see. Here's when we first got here. Hey, there they both are. And look, now it looks like they're one animal, but they're not. Look at this. The hippo's in the water, the leopard's on the shore. Sorry, Kobe. I guess we didn't help you make a big discovery after all. Yeah, but thanks for trying, guys. Wait, we did make a big discovery. Watch. Kobe, you discovered that you can swing across a pond. And Eddie discovered he knew more about animals than he thought. And I discovered that discovering things is fun. So we all helped each other discover something new. Yeah, cool. So we didn't find the creature called the Lepopotamus. But we discovered lots of stuff, and that's a great big plus. I know more things than I thought. I like to swing an awful lot. I recorded every shot. Hey guys, we had
had such an awesome adventure. We helped each other discover all kinds of cool things. And we almost discovered a new kind of animal, a lepopotamus. Oh, I want to help almost discover a new animal too. Can I, please? Okay, sure. But first, let's all go help each other discover some snacks. Okay, then discover some animals. Snack time! <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I wonder if there's a chocolate cookie. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I finished drawing my house. Woohoo! Cool. Pretty. Nice. Let's see your drawing, Kobe. Oh, uh, I'm not quite done yet. Okay. I made a turkey. Awesome. Ta-da! A sparkle bug. Now are you done, Kobe? Almost. Ugh. Why is this taking so long? <laughs> okay, now it's... Done. What do you think? Oh, it's us camping. Wow. That was worth the wait, Kobe. I love camping. Me too. That's why I think we should all go camping right now. I know where there's a meadow just like this one, near the farm. Let's go. A camping adventure. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. chrysalis is, but that just looks like a stick with a lumpy thing hanging on it. It looks like that now, but wait till you see what it's gonna be. Can't you show us now, Kobe? Sorry, Mia. Not yet. Some things take time. Can you be patient? You mean wait? It's hard, but I'll try. Okay, everyone. Let's set up camp. All right. Let's put the tents up right here. I'll find a place to put the food. Make sure it's someplace where the mice can't get it, Mia. Okie dokie. Let's build a tent, Tessa. Cool. Wait, don't you want to look at the instructions first? Nah, that takes too long. We can figure it out. Yeah, let's see how fast we can do it, Eddie. Hmm. <laughs> Now, how can I make sure the mice can't get into this basket? <gasps> I know! Eddie can help me put a big, heavy rock on top of it. But Eddie's busy right now. Maybe Sophie can help me hang it up from that tree branch way up there. But she's busy, too. I could wait for her to be done. But that will take forever. I know. I can hide it under the table. Cover it with a blanket. And ta-da! That didn't take long at all. And the mice will never find it. <laughs> Done. Yeah! Come on, let's go help Sophie and Kobe. 
Okay. Oops. Maybe we should have waited to hear the instructions? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Tents are up. Now let's hike. Let's go. Hike it. Let's go. Is that your walking stick, Kobe? No, Sophie. Remember? This is my stick with the chrysalis on it. Oh, right. But it sure would make a good walking stick. Yeah, but if we wait for it, we'll see that it's good for something even better than walking. Okay. <gasps> oh, dear. The fence is broken, and the sheep are getting out. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. We better fix that. Yeah, but how? We need a big stick. You want to use this stick to fix the fence? Can we? This isn't an ordinary stick, Eddie. Remember? But if we can be patient, something is going to happen with the lumpy thing hanging on it. You mean the chrysalis? Right, the chrysalis. But when is it going to happen, Kobe? Well, I'm not sure. But I know it's going to be worth the wait. Guys, look what we found. Perfect. Come on, let's fix the fence. <sighs> there. No more counting sheep, Sophie. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love hiking. That was fun. Okay, let's eat. Uh, hey, what's going on? <gasps> the mice ate all our food! Hmm, how did they get it? Oopsie. I guess I didn't hide it very well, huh? I could have helped you, Mia. I'm really good at hiding stuff. I know, but you were busy and I didn't want to wait. Hmm, <sighs> sorry. I'm so hungry. Don't worry, Tessa. We're on a farm. There's plenty of food. Yeah. Great idea, Sophie. Let's eat. Yes! Food! Yeah! <sighs> a perfect ending to a perfect day. Almost perfect. But I kind of wish I had waited for Eddie to help me hide the food. And I wish we had waited to hear the instructions before putting up our tent. And I wish that the chrysalis on my stick would... Wait, it's happening! The chrysalis is changing! Really? <gasps> wow! What's it doing? Just wait. You'll see. <gasps> it's magic! It's not magic, Mia. It's science. Scientific fact. A chrysalis will turn into a butterfly. If you can be patient and wait for it. Some things take a little time. If you can wait, you just may find something new you missed before. Some things are worth waiting for. It's worth the wait. Be patient, try to wait and see. It's worth the wait. Amazing things may come to be. It's worth the wait. I like to hurry and go fast. <laughs> to be the first and not the
I want to try that beautiful butterfly. Yeah! Let's do it. I'm going to draw a dancing butterfly. Mine's going to be a butterfly-asaurus. Roar! Mine will be super sparkly. Mine, too. Huh? Oh. You, you first. first. I can wait. <laughs> yeah. After all, some things really are worth waiting for. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nice, Kobe. Look at me! I'm in first place! Oh, no! Ship landed on my rowboat, Mia. Sorry, Colby, but Tessa bumped into it. Sorry, Mia, but a speedboat needs lots of room so it can go really fast. Maybe we should find a ship that we can all play with together. Great idea, Sophie. We can play with... My rowboat! My speedboat! Those are too small. We should play with my big sailing ship. Your sailing ship is big, Mia, but I was thinking we could play on a really big ship. On a sailing ship adventure. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Have a fun trip. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> better than sailing a big ship on the open sea. Whee! And since Eddie isn't here, I'll be the captain today. <laughs> Actually, I think Eddie wanted me to be captain today. Did Eddie really say that, Mia? Well, not exactly. But he always lets me be captain sometimes. Mia! No, this way! This way! Not that way, this way! I'm the captain! Can I help? No, I've got this! Yes! Land ho! Uh-oh! I better go steer the ship away from that island! Guys, stop! I'm Captain Mia. No, I am. Uh, someone better steer now, or we're gonna run into that island. I know how to do it. Let me steer. <gasps> I'm Captain. <gasps> no, I am. Guys, wait. we should do? Uh, uh... Abandon ship! <sighs> water! Water! I need water! <coughs> I'm so thirsty! We just got here, Mia! Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> um, what do we do now? We need to get our ship back onto the ocean. But how? And where did Tessa go? I'm up here! I know how to get us off this island and back to sea! I just need to raise the sail so the wind can push it! Ugh. Looks like 
you need help, Tessa? No thanks. Captain Tessa can do it by her own self. I think it's working. Ah, <sighs> maybe I did need a little help. We have to find a way to get our ship back in the water. Yeah. I do not want to be here when it starts to get dark. Me neither. A pretend fire won't give us very much light. At least we have all these delicious marshmallows to eat. Those aren't marshmallows, Mia. They're coconuts. They're pretend marshmallows. I'm going to roast my pretend marshmallow over our pretend fire. Okay. I just wish I was pretend hungry. <sighs> <gasps> what was that? Huh? Whoa. Ah! Scientific fact. Things that roll are easier to move. Okay, but what are you going to do with those logs? I'm going to put the logs under our ship and roll it back out to sea. And then Captain Kobe will sail us back home. So, how are you going to get the logs under the ship, Captain Kobe? Oh, I didn't think about that. <sighs> May I have a pretend marshmallow, please? I can do this! Do you want some help, Mia? Uh, nope! I got this! As captain, I command you to move back into the water! I guess I'm just not strong enough to move it. And I'm not strong enough to get the logs underneath it, so it could roll. And I wasn't strong enough to keep the sail up so the wind could push it out to sea. None of us can make the ship move by ourselves, but maybe we can make the ship move together. Okay. How? Well, if we all work together, we can try to push the ship onto Kobe's logs. Then we could all raise the sail, and the wind might be strong enough to help roll the ship back out to sea. Let's do it! Yes! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun! One, two, three, four! One friend can be helpful, two can help much more. It's better when there's three, and even better when there's four. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. Get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yay, it worked! Oh, yeah. Way to go, team! We did it together! Call that a win win wind. <laughs> <laughs> With special help from my new little buddy. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Elephant. Yeah. Now let's head home. Wee! 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 <laughs> <laughs> and Sophie, you be the captain. Aye, aye to that. Okay. <laughs> it's an honor to be in charge of the best crew ever. Because we all work really well together as a team. All Yay! right! All hands on deck! Okay. Let's do it! Yeah! You guys.
guys missed a really fun adventure. We landed on a desert island! And an elephant even gave us a push home. Sounds cool. Yeah, we've been having fun too. We're making a whole city out of sand. Awesome! Yeah, awesome! Great job! Thanks. Want to help? Sure. I'll be the mayor leader person of the city. Oh, I mean, we can all work together to make Sand City the greatest city ever! Yay! Whee! Awesome! Let's do it! Sleepy time. There you go. I'm digging for treasure. Want to help? Shh! You'll wake up the baby. Oh, sorry. Hmm. That's not gonna work. Oh, well. Hey! I found something! Whoa! A compass! Cool! Scientific fact. A compass can help you when you get lost. Shh! The baby is trying to sleep. Oops. Uh, sorry. Look behind you, Eddie. I think it's a map. Huh? Cool! Oh, that was just a treasure map I was trying to draw. A treasure map? Uh-huh. But then I remembered, there's no treasure buried in the backyard. There's none in the yard, but there's always treasure buried on a desert island. That's right. Maybe your map would work there, Tessa. There's only one way to find out. An island adventure! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah! Woohoo! Quiet! Uh, sorry, sorry. Mia, do you want to go to the desert island with us to look for buried treasure? No, thanks. My baby needs me here more than you need me there. Okay, see you later, Mia. Bye-bye. Later. Bye -bye. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go. We can do so. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Let's go! All right, yeah! Sing a dig a do! Woohoo! Okay, guys. Let's find some buried treasure! You need to find a big X. That's where the treasure's buried. That's always where the treasure's buried. But how do we find the X? Uh, can I look at the map, Eddie? Sure. Uh-oh, I think I dropped my compass. I'll be right back. Hmm, I must have dropped it around here. Hey! Oh, yep. Here it is. Huh. What's that? An egg? Cool! Come on, Eddie! Let's find the treasure! Be right there! What? Whoa! A baby turtle! I didn't know turtles came from eggs. Hello there! You are so cute. Are you alone? Where are your friends? Or your family? Aw. Eddie, hurry up! Coming! Gotta go, little guy. I have a treasure to find. I think the map is telling us to go into these trees. What kind of treasure do you think we'll find? I hope it's gold or jewels. I hope it's chocolate. I hope that little turtle's okay. Eddie, this treasure hunt is your best idea ever! Yeah. Zigga digga do! Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. You okay, Eddie? Yeah, but I left something back on the beach. You guys go ahead, I'll catch up. Uh, okay.
Phew! You're okay. But you're still alone, huh? I sure wish you had some friends to keep you company. Well, don't worry. I'll help you find someone. Then, it's back to the treasure hunt. I think... I think we're supposed to march over the coconut... <laughs> or around the coconuts. Maybe the map is upside down, Kobe? Or sideways? I don't know, but I bet Eddie's compass can show us the right direction. Hey, where is Eddie? He said he'd catch up. Eddie! We're waiting for you. Bring your compass. Uh-oh. My friends need me to help with the treasure hunt. I'll go help them and then come back. You stay here, okay? <laughs> no, you stay here. Stay. Stay. Huh? Where are you, little guy? Oh, no. How do you get in there? Let me help you, little guy. find the treasure without Eddie and his compass. You're right, Sophie. Let's go back and see what's taking him so long. Good plan. You can't come with me, but you won't let me go without you. My friends need my help to finish the treasure hunt, but you need me too. What should I do? What should I do? I think you need me more than my friends do right now. They'll come back here after they find the treasure. So don't worry, I'm staying right here. In the meantime, we can, um... Uh... What do baby turtles like to do? I don't know what to do with you. But I think you're gonna help me learn what I should do. You're gonna learn it too. Cause it's fun to be the one who's helping, the one who's helping you. Sometimes it's better when you stay, even if you wanna play. When there's a friend who needs your help, you can sit and share some kelp. It's fun to be the one who's helping. It's fun to be the one who's helping. The one who's helping you. There you are, Eddie. Did you guys find the treasure? <gasps> there it is. Huh? huh? Spot where the treasure is. We're right back where we started. Hey, I think I already found the treasure. It's this baby turtle. Aww, he's so cute. So you mean the treasure isn't gold or jewels or chocolate? No, it's this baby turtle. I named him Eddie Jr. Eddie Jr. looks really happy. Good job taking care of him, Eddie. Thanks. But I wish there were some other turtles around who knew what to do next. Scientific fact. Sea turtles hatch on the beach, then crawl straight to the water. But they usually hatch in big groups. So his friends must have already gone out to sea. So I should help him crawl out to the sea too, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll help you, little guy. Here we go! <laughs> Boy, did I love taking care of you, Eddie Jr. But it's time to say goodbye. to go. Bye, Eddie Jr. 
I'm glad you found your friends. Jump rope and build a sand castle with selfies. 